No, there's no set rubric for an artist. The only thing that we have to learn from is one another, is looking back to the past, you know, and having the ability to stand on the shoulders of our predecessors is like this big thing that's all of this pressure on us. And so when we come to Cactus House and we have our things hanging on these cool, like, industrial sort of almost retro-like walls, it opens up the ability for people to, you know, to have more of a conversation about it, to open up their own ideas. It could be representative of anything. I'm very thankful that they did that one and uh, they're giving chance to other artists to show up because I know some artists are very shy, just like me. If Candice did uh, push me, like, hey, dad, go. Show off your artwork. She's been in the garage for quite some time. Okay, so here it goes. I didn't know there was such a variety. I always thought it was just country or metal you hear around here. Yeah. That's not the case, as I soon learned this year. So that's pretty cool. And like with Cactus House being around. Yeah, yeah definitely, because all kinds, like yeah, the they're, acceptance they're, is awesome. So they're probably like mm -hmm. the best place for all of those like different types of genres and stuff to come together. Like nobody yeah. cares. Like, just, it's an art there. gallery. Yeah, what else do you expect? They're just there to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So is everyone ready for an interview? Yeah. yeah? So behind Goodwill there is this warehouse and it is full of cactus all over it and that's kind of where I got it from because I love cactus. And and he came up with Cactus House being a really good name for it. It was just kind of like an impromptu name, like, like we were just like kind of threw it out there. It was just like, okay, cool. And it stuck because what well, we really did want to create a home for everything too. And it was like West Texas, Cactus, all of that. Also, Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a little bit of everything in there. So, um, uh, Odessa really needed something like this, I think. And I've been told that multiple times, you've been told that many times over, is that there wasn't anywhere to go, so we made it. Yeah. You can be yourself here. Like, oh, yeah. Literally, anyone yeah. can walk in and be themselves here. It's, the community is incredible. The, the people who come in, it's yeah. so accepting, because people come here, they come here just for the art, and they enjoy just, they, they came to watch people perform. Yeah. So it's always accepting. You guys are... We're Flip Cup! Well, okay, when we first started out, it was a, it was it was definitely that sore thumb that mm -hmm. stuck out at every... It was, it was just every pop set. and then pop punk. We all have, like, the punk influences. We didn't really know too many other, like, punk bands, I guess. Not until... Just do the blockheads. Yeah, until we formed up and then we met the blockheads and we first coming out. Like, my uncle struck me in the blood, like, even like pop punk before that. Like, I listened to like a lot of Descendants and like Bad Religion, a lot of like act like old school punk. And like yeah. that type of shit, like, you just want to bring it, like, you want that face to face. That's why the cactus sounds so good because you're just like, right there, like, in the middle of the shit. And it's just, I don't know, that, D that DIY vibe, man. I just want to look out there and see people just like singing along. Yeah. That's the yeah. realist. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely. Just want to make a mark, man. You got to change the scene. Got to let people, or have people start thinking differently, inspire them to do a different shit than what else is going to around here. And, and now, everyone's starting to, to branch out and starting to get a little bit more colorful. Just all of a sudden, yeah. there's all this variety of music. Mm -hmm. 
no one's afraid anymore. <laughs> you know what's afraid? <laughs> There's folk, death metal, pop punk. All in the same shows, too. Anybody who's going to pursue art kind of later in their life is usually already aware by a very young age that they're going to pursue art as their sort of like focus in life because you do things like draw on the walls or you cut up your parents' curtains so you can make clothes for your dolls or whatever. In my case, you know, you get in a lot of trouble but at the same time there's a lot of uh, encouragement that happens in that ring of things because adults are good at recognizing creative children as well. Children are inherently creative, so it's just something that we kind of do um, unbeknownst to ourselves. And you, yeah, so I've been doing it ever since I can remember. <laughs> I drew on walls. I guess I was always encouraged to pursue our work as well. You know, there's this weird thing that happens as you're getting older where people will tell you, you know, there's no money in that, there's no money in art, you know, there, you can, but. It's really weird, it's a really weird like dissonance because people do this thing where they're, they'll be like, you're so good at art, you're so good at what you do, you know, do me this, do me that, but then they'll be like, so what are you gonna do with your life? You know, it's really weird, it's a really weird dynamic. I didn't know that I was going to pursue art as a sort of like career goal or as a focus or anything until kind of later because I always knew I was artistic and I always knew I had talent, but it wasn't until I got to a point where people were like, oh yeah, you know what you could do with this? or anybody had any inkling of actual like faith in me to be like, you can do this and you can be happy doing this, that I was like, you know what, you're right. I can do whatever I want because I'm good at art, you know, and I'm good at giving people what they want to see or giving people what they don't want to see. You know, maybe sometimes that's what it takes to shatter the ground a little bit. The thing that's different about Cactus House is compared to like the gallery is that there's conversation. You know, and the conversation is incited because this is a group of, for the most part, open-minded people. You can talk with people about these things because they're, they have the ability to look past the fact that, you know, this has been standing in history for as long as it has as a piece of art or whatever. So I like, I, that's why I really enjoy being at Cactus House, you know, I, I want to be, one of the people who can invite you in and tell you that it is safe and it is this place where you can express your ideas, you can be yourself, and you shouldn't have any fear of any residual judgment or criticism or whatever, unless that's what you're looking for, because you're going to look for criticism in the art world, but, you know, all of those things, they're here and they're warm and they're welcoming and they're here for us, you know, there's no other reason that Cactus House is here aside from for us to be us and to enjoy each other and to enjoy ourselves. We have an uncle who is a really, really, we can say artist per se, because I'm, maybe I'm a hobbyist at least. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I started uh, because I grew up with him. He is maybe about seven years older than me and he's into arts really. He went to architecture and then I, uh, I saw him when I was growing, drawing, drawing and all, so yeah, I started drawing also. I have a friend who has a bar, oh, yeah. so he has a, like a lobby towards, uh, towards the bar itself, and then I, I asked him that, hey, can I have some, like, some of my artworks here? Why not? And let's make this as a, like a, like what Cactus House did, like mm -hmm. home for artists, like a hallway, towards the bar, do your, uh, I did the first exhibit there. And then eventually other artists did it. Art for me is like just only a part. It, balancing, it helps balance uh, work and family. Being aware with the environment, the politics. So yeah, just to express myself through, through art, something mm -hmm. like that. Because mostly I do a mix, I call it mixed media or close to pop art, something like that. And uh, yeah, I start with gathering things that I find, mostly the, the junk and the trash, because I believe in the environment, we're hurting it. So one way of, uh, it's like a 
form of activism, something like that, just to let people be aware that we're hurting our environment. So mostly that's my thesis. The first show where Candice was there, and I, uh, I saw the artworks like, oh man, I didn't know that we have artists like this here in Daza. It's like going back home. I want to give thanks to the people uh, behind the Cactus House that they thought of it, built a place like that for local artists, upcoming artists to go there because I want to share my art. It's, it's, it's looking for home. <laughs>